In this video, we're going to work a problem where we find the components of a force along random directions. We're going to do this graphically. In most cases, you'll have a Cartesian coordinate system. So in either 2D or 3D, you can represent your forces and directions with components and use the dot product to get components of the forces along any direction. But it's still valuable to work practice problems with vectors graphically. You learn a lot of the geometry involved in working with vectors. Also, even with a Cartesian coordinate system, if you're resolving graphically along random axes that aren't perpendicular, then you still may need to use the law of sines or law of cosines to get information. So it's good to practice working with the law of sines and law of cosines and analyzing triangles that aren't right triangles. All right, let's get started. The chisel exerts a force of 20 pounds on the wood dowel rod, which is turning in a lathe. Resolve this force into components acting A along the N and T axis, axes and B along the X and Y axes. Okay, so the N and T axes are perpendicular, which makes our lives a bit easier because we can just use trigonometry. And so what I mean by that is to find the components of a force graphically, you go from the tail of the force to the head walking along the the, the directions you're interested in. Well, if we come to the tail here and we draw a line parallel to T, so we, we go along T and then along N, right? But this is, we know this is 90 degrees, okay? And then we know it tells us that this is 45 degrees here. So, so this is 20 and we need to find for part A, we want to find th this length and this length, if this, is, if this is 20, and these are our angles, all right? So F along the T direction is, so that's going to be, you know, like this here. That's FT, and then this is... Fn. Okay, Ft is, so we do, we have, this, this is 45, so opposite over hypotenuse. So let's do, so sine of 45 is equal to Ft over 20. Okay, so 20 times 14.1 pounds. Okay, so now we can, now we can do, so Fn adjacent over hypotenuse, cosine of 45 is equal to Okay, now cosine of 45 and sine of 45 are the same. So this could be the same magnitude, but we could put negative 14.1 because it's in the negative direction. Okay, now part B, find the components along the X and Y axes. So we can just slide this force over here so there's the force and we just need to find this angle or this angle well here's how you can analyze this look at this nt if we rotate nt 30 degrees it it's oriented with the xy axes okay so 30 degrees and all of a sudden this is horizontal the n is horizontal so what is 45 minus 13 that's going to be 45 minus, 45 minus 30 is going to be 15. That's this angle here, you see? Because you just rotated this 30 degrees, this NT axis 30 degrees. So this is 15 degrees. So FX is F 
cosine of 15. Okay? 20 cosine of 15. So 20 times cosine of 15. 19.3. Okay, and that's going to be in the positive x direction. All right, now f y is equal to f sine of 15. That's also going to be positive. So we've got Five point one eight. 